Yo, yo, it's your boy Tej. Episode two's here. Before we get into the whole episode though, I did want to let you guys know that all this footage was shot about six to seven months ago and I didn't really know what to do with all the footage that I shot. This is the perfect opportunity to drop episode two. Enjoy it, it's a little more in-depth breakdown of my pro model and just how thankful I am for all of you guys and the support, so enjoy. What's good everyone? It's your boy Teach. How's it going? This is a super exciting unboxing because it is my newest pro model. The first actual box I got, completely unassembled. These are actually in little bubble foam wraps. I got GoPro footage of them that I'm gonna drop in this video. Uh, the doorbell just rang and I think I know what it is. Super excited, so let's check it out. Oh man, it is TJ. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is in my hands right now. <laughs> Dang. Prototyping is going down. Oh my God. I want to do an unboxing because Kenan USA always hooked it up. They sent me 10 of my own pro models. Let's see what's inside. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh, just seeing my pro model for the first time. I've had this design for eight months now and actually seeing it on a kendama in real life form is one of those amazing feelings ever that I have my own pro model, it's insane. Congrats on the pro spot, can't wait to jam one. Best of luck in Japan, Jubaka. Shout out to Ryan, one of the warehouse crew workers there, always grinding, thanks so much brother, appreciate it. Congrats dude, these are sick, can't wait to shred one. Love you, boy Charles, Charles Rager. Thanks Charles, thanks Jubaka, appreciate it guys. Oh, there it is, it's the first time I've ever seen this. I'm so excited. Boom, there it is. And five more there in the bottom, so I got ten all together. Wow, this is it. So what you guys got. It's crazy that I actually have a pro model. I'm gonna also like give a little breakdown of why I chose what I wanted to choose. My announcement video, I talked a little bit about it, but I wanna go a little more in depth with it with this unboxing. It comes with standard Kai's unboxing. I chose the turquoise box with a black stripe. Uh, I really like how it popped, that, that gold pops with the black stripe and then the turquoise matches the one of the stripes of my the quad split. If you look closer at my box, it has the anchor design that's in the big cup. Take a look at that, really stoked on the packaging and how it all came out, looks really good. Oh, this one has nice grain. Let's, let's crack this boy open. Much respect, always anybody getting my pro model, much respect to you guys, really appreciate it. Yep, this looks good. Got that quad color split way. Boom, signature right there. Snowflake, anchor, compass. Boom, so insane. When I lived in Lake Tahoe, I was always super into going to the beach. I actually, when I first started playing Kanama, I worked as a jet ski rental and parasol deckhand. So when I would go to the beach and it was off days or there was a little bit of downtime, I'd play Kendama. So I was really influenced by water, being at the beach, being in Lake Tahoe, and I've always wanted to live in San Diego. So I got the opportunity to move down here, go to school here, do some stuff with Kendama down here, do a bunch of events down here, and really blow the scene up here. So it happened to work out really well. If you notice in the compass, the way that the compass shows, I actually, the the top needle points to Lake Tahoe and the bottom needle points to San Diego. Kind of a hidden gem about my pro mod. The anchor in the big cup represents living in San Diego and the snowflake in the small cup represents growing up in Lake Tahoe. The wave on the top cup represents the color of the Tama and any body of water, ocean, lakes, rivers, ponds, anything to do with water. Let's get to the Tama. I didn't want to do silk paint, so I wanted to choose something that was different. We have this super stick paint, always good for anything balanced, so it just tacks right on there. Anything for lunars is super good as well, lighthouses. Birds are really great too. I chose a little bit bigger of a bevel, so it's gonna lock in there really well. The Tama colorway is, you start with the sand on the bottom, and then as you look out to any body of water, it shows the different colors of the water. It starts with that first nice teal blue color, and then it goes into that darker blue, and then into that deepest blue where the water is the deepest. And then I have my signature down the handle because that's always where I wanted a 
my signature to go on a kendama. The wood type I chose was ash wood. This is the first ash pro model, which is pretty awesome. So you have the ash can and ash tama. That grain on there, man. Uh, super nice. Super nice. Oh, prime. I'm still blown away that I get this opportunity to be professional for Konami and say it's honestly one of the best feelings. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. You're all the best. You guys make this possible. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be in this position. If you haven't picked up one of the TJ Coles like Pro Models, go check it out at KonamiUSA.com. And let me know how it is. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Snapchat, Facebook. I'll put all the links below in the captions. If you haven't checked out my announcement video, go check it out. And we'll see you next time. Go make some waves. Peace.